Alrighty, welcome back everyone, I am Blaze here. Today's video is on why the slash melody command should be removed entirely from EverQuest. Why it should be abolished from the game. Do I believe that? No. No, not at all. But I can see some of the downsides of it. Let's get into it. So what is the Melody Command? The Melody Command is a quality of life feature that was added on live. It is not present on Project 1999, but on live, it lets bards set a repeating twist of several songs through a command so that they don't have to manually play those songs like they used to, or like they currently do on Project 1999. So prior, Yes, there's manual twisting. And even to this day, I still manually twist on live servers. There are certain scenarios in which it's better or more prudent to manual twist. Manual twisting offers a lot more flexibility and a lot more moment to moment adaptations. For instance, if you're pulling a mob back to camp, you want to play your offensive songs first before you play mana song, of course. Whereas with the melody, you really can't alter it on the fly that quick for any particular situation. You're just stuck with what you made. When I do crowd control, when I mez, or when I charm, I always do it manually. It's very difficult to make a melody command for that, especially considering resists, considering early breaks. It's very difficult to melody command crowd control. It's very difficult to melody command pulling. Prior to level 63 with Sonic Disturbance and Boastful Bellow, which lets you pull without breaking melody. It's an am those are amazing AAs. Prior to that, pulling was done entirely manually. You had to break melody every single time to throw out a detrimental tagging spell, or to lull, or to mez, or to split, for that matter. You had to stop melody. And as well, even on raids, there were certain scenarios where these raid targets, especially in Temple of Ishan, where these raid targets would throw out AoE stuns that were unresistible, or nine year unresistible, and the melody command would be made completely ineffective. It would be stopped every five seconds. So in those situations, it was just much more prudent to manual twist your usual melody than it was to try to keep pressing the melody command and having it be interrupted every three seconds, three or four seconds. So manual twisting has its place, absolutely. It's still very valuable and I still use it to this day. And much kudos to the people that do it. And one of the nice things too about manual twisting on live is there were extra quality of life features such as the bandolier macros. With the bandolier swaps, you can set certain primary and secondary item prearrangements to go off. So I have bandolier swaps for my streamed instrument, my brass, my percussion, my melee. I have bandolier swaps for all that. And with one button press, I can swap instruments to maximize the best effectiveness out of any one of my particular songs. And you can even bake in the bandolier swaps into the song macros themselves. Like anytime I press for my Celos macro, it'll automatically swap me out to my drum so I get the max bard speed. Which unfortunately, on P99, everything's Spartan. They don't have the melody command and they don't have the bandolier command. You have to manually swap songs and you have to manually swap instruments. So everything there is Spartan. Where the melody command really shines is in banal twisting situations. Oftentimes, bards are just playing the same four songs over and over and over. That's the vast majority of what bards are doing in groups and doing in raids. And if you have to do that for several hours, it gets exhausting. It gets extremely exhausting. And I remember points on P99 where it was even worse. You can be a lazy bard during downtimes and just play the HP mana song alone. Just play that one but you can maximize mana regen by playing Cassandra's Chorus of Clarity three times. It's a pulse. So you play Cantana, the static HP mana song that lasts for three, four ticks. And then you play pulse three times. 
And that's how you can put out absolutely the maximum amount of mana that a bard can do. To do that though, you have to be manually swapping the songs the whole entire time during downtimes, which absolutely stinks. Imagine that everyone's going to use the bathroom and going to get a drink and you're still having to sit there to play four songs and actively be there playing that class when everyone else is taking a break. The melody command would have been amazing for that. <laughs> Absolutely amazing for that. And as well, there's points where when you're having to manual twist, you're having to pay a lot more attention to the spell timers as opposed to what is actually going on around you. So there's better situational awareness when you have the melody command, in my opinion. But overall, the melody command makes it a lot easier and a lot less exhausting to play the bard through banal twisting situations. I really like the feature, but let's get into where I feel it has some shortcomings. Honestly, the melody command has trivialized the bard class to a tremendous degree. The only reason that bards can be boxed is really because of the melody command. If the melody command was non-existent, bards would have to be exclusively made. There is no way to play that class with any shred of efficacy of what it actually is without maining it. You really can't box it without the melody command. And it's kind of sad to see that a lot of the bards that are on live servers are never actively played. They're more just there as a support class explicitly. They're not there to pull. They're not there to crowd control. They're just there to play four buffs and silos. And that's basically it. That's the vast majority of what bards are there for on raids, too. For the first four expansions up until Planes of Power, all bards are really there for is just songs. It's just for their buffs and their resists. Occlusion, perhaps. But that's really it. And it kind of stinks when a main bard on a raid is basically interchangeable with a box bard because all a main bard is doing is playing the same four songs a box is doing. At least in Planes of Power, with pulling becoming available, pulling become a viable option for bards with fading memories, there's a difference again. There's a difference between a main and a box bard, but for the longest time there wasn't. That's why I always preferred groups a lot more, because that's where a box bard really doesn't shine to the same degree that a main bard could. With pulling, with crowd control, there's a huge difference between the two. But on raids, it, it really stunk. It really did stink. There is the positive in that a box bard can take up the songs that are trivial for the raid, like AoE HP mana song or AoE resist, or doing inclusion to debuff a mob. So that main bards can play a bit more variety, they can tailor their twists a bit more, they have extra songs. It can help in that regard, but rarely is that kind of coordination worked out. I think more what I miss is that while the melody command has made it easier to play bard, it's made the currently existing bards that are out there a lot less valuable. Bards used to be a much rarer class, in my opinion, because of the difficulty curve, because of the degree of activity that was involved in playing them. And it used to have a much bigger skill curve. You, you can especially notice this on P99. There's a big difference between beginner, the moderate, and the more expert level player of Bard. There's a big difference between all three. And the class is a lot less common, so people really appreciate it more when you actually get to group with one, especially one that knows what they're doing. I felt like there was a lot more appreciation because of the rarity of it on Project 1999. And I feel like the Melody Command has made box Bards viable, and it's diminished the value of main Bards to some degree. And that's really where I have the issue with it. But as with all things, there's pros and cons. I would still take Melody over that, despite that devaluing. So please let me know what you all think. Let me know what your opinions are. I'd love to hear it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.